Hello friends, today we are going to read A Friend for Little Goat. The author is Sudeshna Shome Ghosh. The illustrator is Aratrika Chaudhary and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read A Friend for Little Goat. So here is a goat and it looks like he is wearing a school uniform and he needs a friend. Let's read more about what happens to little goat. Little goat is ready for school. His coat is nice and shiny. His hair is neatly oiled and combed. So here is little goat and his mother and he is all dressed up and ready to go to school. When he reaches school, he holds Baba Goat's hand tightly. The school is so big. I keep getting lost. He whispers to Baba Goat. Don't worry, says Baba Goat. There are so many goats like you here. You will have fun. But little goat is worried about the big goats with their curly horns. So here are little goat and his father and they have come to little goat's school. But little goat is looking at all the other goats there and they have these big curly horns. They look bigger than him. They look like they could beat him or be bad to him. And so he is worried. Timidly, he walks to his class. Billu ma'am tells them to stand in a line and sing the goat song. Mama mango, baba bamboo, papa papaya, nimi nimbu. So he is timid when he walks to class. He is being shy, he is being nervous and the teacher tells them to stand in a line and sing this song. Little goat really likes the song, but he can't remember all the words, so he makes up his own. Mama, mama, baba, baba, papa, papa. Me, 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 so, because he can't remember the words of the song, he makes up his own words for the song and look, his teacher looks angry. Little goat sings loudly and clearly. He keeps singing even when the others have stopped. No, no, you must not make your own words. Stop singing. Billu ma'am scolds little goat. She sends him to the corner. Ha ha ha, the other goats laugh at him. So because he made up his own words, the teacher was angry and she scolds him and sends him to the corner and all the other goats are laughing at him. After some time, it's games period. Jump! Hoppy ma'am, the PT teacher, tells them. Little goat sees a line of ants. Where could they be going? He starts crawling behind the ants. No crawling, 
Poppy Ma'am scolds. Ha <laughs> ha! The other goats laugh at him. So what happens in PT class? Again, the same thing happens. The teacher tells the students to jump and little goat does something else. He gets distracted. He sees these ants and he starts crawling behind them. And again, the teacher is angry and she scolds him and the other goats are laughing at him. Little goat is sad. At lunchtime, no one sits with him or talks to him. Plop, plop. Tears fall into his lunch of freshly cut green grass, making it salty. So little goat is sad because he gets scolded twice and all the other goats in the school are laughing at him and nobody wants to sit with him or talk to him. And so he starts crying. That evening, little goat tells Ma all about singing the goat song and games period. Ma comforts little goat. You made up a lovely song. You crawled so quietly. She hugs him and gives him an extra kiss before he sleeps. So here, little goat's mother is comforting him before he goes to sleep. She tells him about all the things he did well, you know, to try and get him to stop crying and not be sad. Let's see what happens the next day. Next day, little goat is careful to sing the song correctly. During the games period, he remembers to jump and does not crawl. Then it is art period. Draw straight lines and wavy lines. Dotty ma'am tells the class. Little goat spots a colorful butterfly with black and red lines and dots on its wings. Little goat draws the butterfly instead. Dotty ma'am is not happy. Little goat, I told you to draw only straight and wavy lines. Why did you draw a butterfly? She scolds. Ha! <laughs> the other goats laugh at him. So little goat was fine in PT class and the other classes, but then it became art period. What happens there? Instead of doing what the teacher tells him, he gets distracted by a colorful butterfly and he draws the butterfly instead. And once again, the teacher is not happy. And she scolds him and the other goats laugh at him. That day at lunchtime, little goat sits alone again and eats his cucumbers. Suddenly, a small voice speaks near him. Will you teach me how to draw a boat? It's Piggy Piglet from the pig class. She is littler than little goat. So what happens that day at lunchtime? Little goat is again sitting by himself eating his lunch when Piggy Piglet comes from the pig class and she asks him to teach her how to draw a boat. I don't know how to draw a boat, says little goat. Oh, but everyone says you drew a boat in class today, snuffles Piggy. It was a butterfly, little goat tells her. Piggy looks at him with such big eyes that little goat starts to draw in the dust. 
So here is Piggy and she heard that little goat drew a boat. And so here she is asking him, show me how to draw a boat. But little goat says, I didn't draw a boat. I drew a butterfly. But Piggy is just looking at him with her big eyes, hoping that he will teach her something. And so he feels bad for her and he starts drawing in the dust on the ground in front of him. Soon, little goat has drawn a butterfly, a boat and a tree. Piggy gathers some fallen leaves and flowers and adds them to the picture. Let us pretend we are in a garden, Piggy suggests. I know a new song, little goat bursts out. They jump around and sing a goat and pig song. So, here are little goat and piggy having fun. Look at all the things that little goat has drawn for piggy. And piggy gathers some leaves and flowers and puts them also in the picture. And so they are now pretending they're not at school, but they are in a garden and they start jumping and singing. After school, little goat tells Ma all about his new friend. Will you give me some extra crunchy apple peels to take for Piggy tomorrow? Little goat pleads. Of course, Ma promises. So, little goat tells his mother all about his new friend and asks her to give him something special extra crunchy apple peels to take for his new friend to school tomorrow. And his mother says, of course, I will do that. That night, little goat falls asleep quickly. In his dream, he sees Piggy and all the big goats with curly horns dancing in a garden. Jump, hop, skip, kick. Let's all say a loud ma. Jump, hop, skip, kick. Let's all say a soft ba. Jump, hop, skip. Right up front, little goat is the leader of this new dance. He sighs and happily dreams some more. So that night, after he had so much fun with his new friend, he sees a dream and he sees Piggy and all the other goats in school with their big horns. And they're all singing a new song that he seems to have made up. And he is the leader of this dance. And Little goat is happy and he goes back to sleep and back to his dream. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are timidly, shyly, without confidence, to snuffle, to sniff, like when you are crying, to plead, to ask something in a serious way. Try these questions. Have you ever felt like little goat without friends in a new school? Write about it and what you did to feel better. Write about your best friend, how you met and what you do together.